Hello and welcome to the day ahead. It is Wednesday, March 16th. I'm Andrew Gagan. Well, oil's retreat buoying investor sentiment, a stellar session on Wall Street overnight, with all three of the majors ending well in the black and snapping a three day losing streak. This after the latest producer price index showed inflation's rapid rise that had paused at a wholesale level at least last month. Oil remains volatile, tumbling more than 6% as COVID curbs in China raise concerns of supply. It's a marked recovery from the death cross that formed on the S&P on Friday, which is when the index's 50-day moving average falls below the 200-day number. The cross hit the Nasdaq on February 16th and the Dow on March 8th. Well, tech led the gains with Walt Disney and Microsoft contributing to the Dow's 615-point rally with the Fed interest rate decision on tap. Well, turning to the conflict in Ukraine and talks between Russia and Ukraine continued overnight with Ukrainian officials talking up hope the war could end sooner than expected. NATO leaders, including US President Joe Biden, are expected to meet in Brussels on March 24 to discuss the invasion. Elsewhere, sanctions have continued to ramp up on all sides with Russia slapping the US president and a dozen top US officials with a stop list barring them from entering the country. Treasury yields pulled back from more than two year highs but remain elevated ahead of the Fed's interest rate meeting tomorrow where it's widely expected the central bank will hike rates by 25 basis points, its first move in three years. Globally, equities tumbled for a fourth consecutive session amid a combination of COVID cases in China, war in Ukraine and worries over the US Federal Reserve decision. European markets took a hit, giving up gains, while the MSCI's broadest index of Asia-Pacific shares outside of Japan fell nearly 3%, driven by weakness in Chinese stocks. Chinese tech names the lead laggards, the KWEB ETF, the largest China tech ETF in the US, has collapsed from $97 a year ago to just $21 today, erasing nine years of gains. Looking at the bigger picture, U.S. producer prices again hot up 0.8% in February to be 10% higher on the year. Petrol and food driving the rise and fueling investor worries. Inflation will remain uncomfortably high in the months ahead. The greenback firmer overnight as the price of oil moderated and markets continue to grapple with peace talks between Russia and Ukraine. Elsewhere on the FX market, a relatively sideways session as investors sit on the sidelines for that key Fed meeting tomorrow with the path of policy expected to be of more interest than the 25 basis hike the market has priced in. And in crypto, Bitcoin is again recovering after multiple setbacks from the 40,000 resistance level to sit relatively flat on the week. Bringing it back home, the local market poised to open higher after falling 0.7% in yesterday's session. SPY futures sitting up 6 tenths of 8%. Energy, that's expected to weigh after crude fell 6.5% to touch a three-week low and base metals also lower, though nickel remained resilient, ending relatively flat. Gold has tumbled to a fresh two-week low and well below the $2,000 an ounce level. This is ahead of what's expected to be a very hawkish statement from the Fed tomorrow. Palladium and platinum had a wild night, fluctuating up and down nearly 3%. Elsewhere, aluminium is on the watch list after Russian giant Russell moved to divert its cargoes to its refinery in Ireland after the original destination in Ukraine was shut down due to the war. The rethink from the world's second largest aluminium producer, which is not under sanctions, illustrates the kinds of supply chain disruptions rippling through the global economy, driving up the price of goods. Well, despite all the noise and volatility, the local market continues to remain resilient this is even in the face of renewed lockdowns in China from the latest COVID outbreak, which any usual circumstance would be dominating those headlines. For some investors, though, ignoring China could be damaging, with disruptions to supply chains a big concern, particularly for the tech sector. Food and energy coming out of Ukraine and, and Russia, but there's also um, the whole China, you know, you shut down Foxconn, you shut down Apple's iPhone business, and that's a, you know, multi-billion, trillion dollar business. So um, a lot of the tech stocks in, in China got absolutely smoked in ADR form last night, down 10, 20% in some cases. 
So that, that Hong Kong um, tech index is down 6%, 7% two days in a row. So if that's happening, then our tech sector is going to get hit. Also, we had a firm, oh, sorry, I'm, go, I'm going off resources here, but um, a firm uh, didn't get their bond issue away last night, $500 million asset backed security loan that the, the mm-hmm. cornerstone pulled out. And that is your day ahead. See you again tomorrow.